So I've been searching for a long time for what it is that I want in life, where it is that I want to end up. People always talk about how they can see themselves, you know, like, oh, this is where I see myself after college, or oh, this is where I see myself in 10 years. Or like, that's a huge interview question. It's like, where do you see yourself in 10 years? And quite honestly, like, I didn't see myself anywhere after I graduated high school. I couldn't envision what life would be like after college. And I definitely can't imagine what life is going to be like 5, 10, 15 years from now. I have no clue. Um, and I feel like that's the joy of life, is getting to search, getting to explore, getting to find the things that make you happy. Because what makes you happy today isn't going to make you happy tomorrow. It's going to change. It's going to shift. We're a lot like water in that way. We constantly flow. We ebb in and we ebb out. We go downstream. We pick up currents. We grow with the rain and shrink with the dry season. And, and no matter what, we continue to flow forward. And there is no end goal. There is no end destination. Maybe you go into the ocean, you flow across the world and back to where you began and start your whole journey over. No matter what happens, we just keep moving. And we rediscover, we redefine. And that's just the beautiful part about life. And the sad thing is, though, that we try to find stability. We still look for something solid and concrete. We find others to lean on. We look for love to last. And oftentimes that love just gets written off to bad timing. I've had relationships of my own and seen friends go through utter heartbreak purely because one of them felt that it was just not part of the plan. It wasn't good timing. This just wasn't the moment. I've been to relationships myself because it just didn't feel like it was where I needed to be in my life. And as time's gone on, I've learned that you can't just put a time limit on things. You can't say like, I'm gonna give it this long and if it doesn't work out, that's just it because I guarantee you will circle back to feelings. And a lot of times people are like, oh, like you just think about your ex because you're sad and you want companionship or, lon or you're lonely or you're just sad. <laughs> and I feel like I am sad a lot. But I also know that I circle back to feelings because as I adapt and as I become a completely different person, I do kind of grow into who I used to be as I grow out of who I used to be, if that makes any sense. You circle, you do, and you will fall back into old habits and you will take traits from all of the different parts of your life to make up who you are today. And you will continue to grow that and you'll get rid of some and you'll pick up more and maybe you'll completely erase the person that you were and you'll completely become them again five years from now. And that's, like I said, that's just what I find so interesting and wonderful about life is you don't have to be a certain way. You get to change it up. You get to be different. You get to fall in love with yourself over and over and over again and also have hate fucking breakups with yourself over and over and over again. And I think what's most important about all of it is to not stop moving forward, to not stop looking at the future, to not plan for what's around the river bend, to quote Pocahontas, but just to enjoy the ride. Get on the kayak, get on the canoe, flow downstream on your back. Who cares where you're going? Who cares about the future? What, what does it matter if you're not living it now? If you're not enjoying who you are right now, if you're not enjoying who you're with right now, because people come and go in your life and that is just a constant. As much as we want to hold on to them, as much as we want to make them stay forever, people come and go, whether it be from circumstances, from moving, from graduating, from getting a new job, from joining the military, from passing away, people come and then people go. And that is the story that we all follow. <laughs> And that's the hard part, is learning to let go. Because it's not easy. I still struggle with it, and I say I struggle with it. I have extreme issues with letting things go and letting people leave my life. Because once I'm attached to someone, it's very difficult for me to let them go. But it's something I'm working on. It's something that I am adapting to become better at. And I, I'm, I'm proud of myself with the links that I've gone and the distance that I've traveled in that journey and it's something that I'm going to face very soon and it's going to hurt a lot um, and it's it's going to be growing pains for sure to have to let someone go from my life that I'm not ready to lose um, and it's it's not even something that I feel fully comfortable talking about here because you guys know I talk about some things I don't talk about other things eventually we might talk about this thing but for right now it's just I know there's someone in my life that I'm going to lose very soon um, and it might not be forever. It might be forever. No one knows. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, you know. Uh, no one knows. 
um, two months, three months, five months, six months, a year, three years. I don't know where I'm going to be. I know where I'd like to be. I have found that. I have finally seen a vision after me talking about not worrying about what is going to happen in the future, not worrying about what you're going to find in the future. I have a vision. And it makes me happy to look at it and think about it and dream about it. I haven't had a vision like this in a long time. I couldn't see myself with someone. I couldn't see myself in my life, in a career that I was just like, this is what I want to do. And I'm starting to build that picture again. Um, and it's exciting. Um, it, it makes me want to relive the last two weeks over and over and over. And trust me, I've been bawling my eyes out like a bitch the last two weeks. Um, there are people that can account for that. I have had many breakdowns and freakouts, including even fucking yesterday. Um, but that doesn't matter to me because at the end of the day, I still know that I'm building this vision. I'm building the future that I want to build. I'm finally at a place where I can see a bigger picture, but I'm also allowing myself to let that picture adapt and change every single day. I'm allowing myself to let that picture come in and out of focus because I may get the photo that I want eventually. I may be able to snap one final good shot and get to keep it forever. But as any photographer knows, or as any videographer knows, there is a whole lot of setup, there is a whole lot of planning, and there is just this brilliant little sprinkle of luck that drops right on top of you to get that shot that you want, to get the picture, to get the image, to get the dream. You just have to focus and you have to know that sometimes you're going to take the shot and it's going to be blurry. Sometimes it's going to rain. You're going to have to go back tomorrow. You're going to have to go back a year from now. You're going to be on set and everything's going to look great and you're going to come back to reshoots in three months. Whatever it may be, life doesn't always work out perfect when you do it the first time. So be okay with falling back into old habits. I've, it's something that I've been adamantly pushing away from myself recently. Um, and in order for me to grow, you have to look at your old habits and the old person that you were. Because there, there's never a time where you were just 100% bad. There are good things you can learn from your old selves. Even alcoholic drunk me from a year ago. You know what? What I learned from him is that he was carefree and he was happy. His choices and addictions were pretty fucking awful. <laughs> but... He had an attitude and a carefreeness and an attractiveness about him that definitely brought good people into my life because I wasn't so stressed about where I was going. I was very okay with where I was in life. And though I was planning on getting out of Starkville for the whole time, I had a blast the year that I just chilled and just stayed. And I, I did get out and now I'm here in my apartment surrounded by my wolf art. You see my little light up thing right back here. I love this thing. It's a little light up wolf. I don't know if it's in focus, but that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time. I was going to do all my old things, but love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Remember, honesty, loyalty, pack. I'll see you later.